Here, in what is hallowed ground for many Republicans, top GOP presidential candidates will face off for a second time. This is the library of the 40th president of the United States, Ronald Reagan, who remains an icon for conservative Republicans. Part of living better electrically. He began life in the public eye as an actor and liberal Democrat before switching to the Republican Party. As a popular two-term president of the 1980s, he held up conservative values, pushing for small government, low taxes, and more money for defense. Known as the great communicator, some of his simple, direct words changed history. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Reagan has supplanted Abraham Lincoln is the most popular Republican in American history. Craig Shirley works for the Reagan campaign and in the Reagan White House. He's also written six books on him. He says the current Republican candidates will likely compare themselves to Reagan during the debate. They include former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, biotech investor Vivek Ramaswamy, and former Vice President Mike Pence. Mike Pence certainly evokes Reagan-esque uh, positions on issues, as does Nikki Haley, uh, as does Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy argued in the first debate that China is more concerning than Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Former U.N. Ambassador Haley questioned the younger candidate's lack of foreign policy experience. Reagan, who was the oldest president in history at the time, quipped about age during a debate. I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> Again, the Republican frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, will skip this debate. In August, Haley called him the most disliked politician in America, and Christie and Pence called for his disqualification. But Ramaswamy called Trump the best president of the 21st century. Author Ian Morgan says Reagan would be uncomfortable with that type of discord and with the current tone of politics. He was a very modest man, very personable man, and boasting did not come naturally to him. And that's something that isn't quite uh, fitting into the current Republican mold. But Reagan's memorable one-liners still work. Are you better off than you were four years ago? That question remains a staple of U.S. presidential campaigns. So we'll see which candidate asks it first here on Wednesday night as they try to convince voters to return Republicans to the White House. Carolyn Pursuti, VOA News, Simi Valley, California.